you guys, I'm feeling prepared. I'm feeling like I might have a little bit of an idea what I'm doing, you know. I'm feeling a little bit prepared, which as a mom of almost four kids that are five years and under, that's a rarity. So we're just gonna embrace that for a real quick second. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my hospital bag. My name's Jamie, if you're new. Um, this is for baby number four. This is our second daughter and my fourth um, to term pregnancy. So we're really excited. Um, I am 38 weeks pregnant right now and I finally got my hospital bag packed. And so I'm gonna share with you guys all the fabulous things that I'm packing. Maybe I packed a lot, maybe I didn't pack enough. Um, we'll see, let's jump on in. All right, so in all of my pregnancies, I used this super huge duffel bag that we got from Walmart when we were first married, and it was like, it's been falling apart for the past three or four years. <laughs> and we just use it all the time because we don't go on a lot of trips. And this time I was like, think this is my last baby. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get a cute bag because I'm gonna use it anyways, so I'm just gonna go do it. And so I did get a cute bag. However, this bag is stuffed. This is from Target. How cute is this? Ah, I love it. I absolutely love this bag. Um, I felt like this is just, it's such a cute bag. It looks gigantic right now on this screen because I'm super close. But it is their Weekender bag, and the best part of it was that I got it on sale, which, praise the Lord, it was like 15 bucks, which is amazing for a cute Weekender bag. So yeah, this is the bag that I got in the very front pocket. Let's see what I put in here. What's in here is my playlist, a CD. You guys, I don't even have a playlist on my phone, which my husband, I know he's gonna be like, Jamie, why didn't you just put it on your phone? Why did you put it on a CD? Like, what if they don't have a CD player? Um, and I'm just thinking about that right now. But this has like sentimental value to it. This was my birth playlist um, when I had Jude. And so I just took it out of his baby box and I brought it with me again. So I'll listen to the same stuff. These are so cute. These are from Stroll and Dirty. I've shared with you guys before. These are reusable snack bags, but I told you, I use them for everything. How cute is the little birch trees? So, so cute. I put my kids' snacks in. I also put my accessories for birthing a child in here too. All right, so the first thing is I have um, this little headband. I always wear this. It's so comfy and just keeps my hair out of my face. I'm, um, I've am i got a really short haircut right now, so I can't put it in a ponytail. And so I tend to just like put this on and it looks real cute like that. And it's super, super cozy. This is from Blue Eyed Baby Couture. I'll link it for you guys down below. All right, moving on. I also have um, an essential oil blend. I have a doTERRA balance um, from my wonderful stepmom. Thank you, I'm gonna be bringing this. I have Arnica tablets um, to take for internal healing after I have her. I also have some bobby pins and um, hair clips and all that kinds of stuff as well as some chapstick for me when I'm in labor. You guys, I'm feeling prepared. I'm feeling like I might have a little bit of an idea what I'm doing, you know. I'm feeling a little bit prepared, which as a mom of almost four kids that are five years and under, that's a rarity. So we're just gonna embrace that for a real quick second. All right, so the first thing I'm seeing in here in my bag is this robe I got from Target. Um, I did purchase this just recently because I don't have a robe. So I purchased this from Target. It's super, super cozy. It's like a, a thick, kind of a heavier jersey material, but I felt like this will be perfect for the hospital. This will be perfect for me just having as a pajama set at home and then really great for nursing afterwards. I also am bringing just this big comfy shirt to wear. I don't know if this is, did I have, I think I planned on this being like something that I would wear going home. Just a really big cozy open shirt. It's not clinging to anything. Cause we all know when you leave the hospital, you are still looking like you're real pregnant. Um, even though you don't have a baby in there and I just don't like anything hugging on me too much. I have just a pair of sweatpants that I'm gonna wear as well. Um, my husband has got some sweatpants, he's got a t-shirt, lots of fun husband things. I also have this black, long. it's like a mid-length um, jersey black skirt. I have worn this in my last two labor and deliveries. Um, this is really great just because it's black. I can walk around in this without having to have any underwear or anything on if I'm in labor. 
um, if I need to be checked, if I get into the birth tub and I need to get out of the birth tub, I've got this I can just throw on real quick with, and I usually labor in like a black sleep nursing bra or sleep tank, um, and then, and then this, but black is great because sometimes birth is colorful. <laughs> All right, speaking of nursing bras, I picked up, I've got these two sleep nursing bras. I don't know why I, I care, packed two. Oh, I do know why I packed two. One will probably be for laboring and then one will be for wearing, just because right after you have a baby, I don't, well, for me at least, I don't wanna have like thin straps. I just I just wanna be comfy, especially in the hospital. I'm, a, I'm birthing in a birthing center, but it's attached to a hospital. And so, you know, I'm, I'm just not home, so. Um, actually, I brought this shirt too. This is just like a, the same kind of idea, really loose fitting, um, just a nice flowy shirt that I can wear. I can wear that. Um, after I have her, I can wear that when I leave. You know, there's no rules. I can do whatever I want. I brought this nightgown. I got this from Target as well. This is a pretty blush color, but it's just a nice jersey material. I thought this was perfect for me to wear in the hospital, and it's also gonna be really nice and cozy to wear postpartum as well. All right, my battery's gonna die. Let's change this out real fast. This should give me a little bit of juice. This was on the charger, so hopefully it will. All right, so yes, yeah, so I got comfy clothes. I got a comfy robe. I also um, got these cute little socks. I had Kohl's Cash. Thumbs up if you like Kohl's Cash. These have the little grippies on the bottom, which I always like to get um, when I'm in labor. I never have them any other time, I feel like. And then I wear them until they get yucky, and then I don't ever buy them again unless I'm in labor again. I got these beautiful things right here. And these are some Mish adult dappers. Real nice, guys. Actually, I have never used the adult diapers, but I will tell you that everyone I've talked to swears by these postpartum because it just stays, like, everything stays better than having, like, your mesh underwear with your pad and then it's, like, moving around. It's just... And so I'm gonna try these. We'll see if not I have pads upstairs that I can do. Let's go over some of the toiletries I'm bringing, I guess. The first thing is this postpartum bath herbs from um, Earth Mama Angel Baby. This is just what I'm gonna do at the birth center because it's all together, it's easy. I do have a kit that a girlfriend gave me that I'll probably use at home as well. But this is just, it's all in one, and I can use this postpartum. I have a little bag like this that has some toiletries in it. And um, I actually have left this on the counter in my bathroom because this is all stuff that I use on the daily. And then when I'm in labor, I can just zip it up and put it in my bag. I have a little list of things to grab real fast before I leave, um, like a reminder list. Grab my phone charger, grab my pillow, grab my um, toiletry things off of the bathroom counter, those kinds of things. So when I am in labor, I remember. The first thing I have in here is this 100% pure coffee bean eye cream. I love this stuff. I use this every day. Also, my Levin Rose rose water, which I love, and then my pumpkin seed oil as well. I've shared these in my natural beauty favorites. Those are like my go-to everyday skin things, so that'll be nice. I also have leave-in conditioner um, from A Cure. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm actually gonna wash my hair or not when I'm in there. I'll probably take a shower, but I should probably get some little containers for shampoo and conditioner. Um, I also packed this Dermot E Essentials Microdermabrasion Scrub. I just feel like after having a baby, <laughs> I don't know, it might be nice to feel like I'm exfoliating my skin a little bit. I feel a little bit cleaner. It's really nice, I like this a lot. So I threw that in there, as well as an extra thing of deodorant. This is the Schmitz Fragrance Free Deodorant, which I love. As well as some nipple balm, cause I'm gonna be nursing, and uh, sometimes things get a little bit painful when you're trying to nurse a new babe. All right, moving on, I have this little thing right here, and this has stuff for myself as well as John, except for I need to have John pack some more stuff for him, like he needs deodorant and all those kinds of things, but he doesn't usually use a ton of stuff, so he can probably just throw it all together, and there we go. But I have um, toothpaste and toothbrushes. I've got some nursing pads. I've got some cotton swabs. Isn't this fun, you guys? And then, oh, this. If there is one thing that you want postpartum, it is this stuff. This is the New Mama Bottom Spray by Earth Mama Angel Baby. 
my gosh. It is, it's everything. They do have a balm version of it, but I find that postpartum, it's just easier just to do some spray, spray, spray instead of having to put a balm up in there, you know? I also packed some face wipes. This is the micellar, oh, it's not the micellar. What is this? It's cleansing facial wipes. So hopefully it is okay. I thought I got the micellar ones, but I didn't, I guess. All right, so these are some cleansing wipes. And then I also packed my Norwax body cloth and makeup remover. These are like my holy grail items. I don't sell Norwax, but I swear by their stuff. All right, so moving on for the fun stuff for Ingrid, I have this sweet little swaddle blanket. This is from Me Be Baby. Isn't this pretty? This is just a really pretty blush. Um, it is like a jersey material, super, super soft. I got that for her. And then I also got this super soft um, muslin blanket. This is from Muslin Tree. I don't know, I got it on Amazon. It's like a bamboo muslin swaddle. Super, super cozy and cute. I have a pre-fold diaper that I use for burp bibs because we're not cloth diapering this time around because I just, I can't, I can't do that right now. I have some um, diapers and wipes in here. I don't plan on using them because I plan on getting my money's worth of being in the hospital, um, but I am bringing them just in case. I've got another Stroll and Dirty bag. I told you guys I use this, these for everything. This has some stuff for Ingrid um, as far as like what she's gonna be wearing. I have pacifier um, just in case she decides to be, to be my baby that that takes a pacifier. I'm not I'm not against pacifiers, I'm just saying. My daughter took one, my sons did not. They did not take bottles or anything like that. And as much as I love nursing, there is some good that comes if the baby takes a passy, I'm just saying. So I've got three little pairs of socks. I also have um, a couple little sleep sleepers, sleeper sacks for her, sleeper, what are these called? Sleep sacks? I think they're sleep sacks, isn't this cute, you guys? My kids live in these like their first couple months, so. I also packed, oh gosh, this is so cute. This is from Bling, Bling Bows, I think. This cute little bow, oh, so cute, super cozy. And then also, um, this is from Copper Pearl. If you sign up, they do like a $10 a month little bow subscription service, so I, I packed her two little bows. And then I also packed two little footed, footed jammies for her with a cute little, soft floral print as well. So that's what I packed for her. Um, you know, sometimes they have blowouts. Sometimes they don't poop at all when they're at the hospital. You just never know what you're gonna get. That is basically what I have so far in my hospital bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was fun to be able to sit down and do. Um, I'm trying to think of the things that I might have forgotten now. Oh, I also have some like cliff bars and some snacks and stuff like that as well. I do have those, um, but we probably will just eat out or something at the hospital as well and enjoy the 24 hours of it just being John, myself, and baby girl. And then we will head home and um, introduce her to her brothers and her sister. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was fun to watch. I'm so excited for her to be born and um, super excited to share this with you guys. So I will see you later. Bye.